Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I'm going to do a little macro, micro. Uh, Mr. Diamond, I'm going to ask you some macro questions. Mr. Moynihan, more on the, uh, the micro side. Uh, Mr. Diamond, you've been outspoken about the state of the economy, global economy, and, and some of your concerns. I'm going to define a soft landing, just for the purposes of this, as a, a mild recession with limited financial stability risks. A hard landing is a prolonged recession, two plus quarters, uh, with heightened stability risks. So keep that in mind. Um, from a policy standpoint, what are you most concerned about or what do you believe needs to happen to avoid the hard landing scenario? I think the sooner that the Federal Reserve gets the hand around inflation, uh, so we avoid stagflation, that is the worst outcome, is inflation with no growth and unemployment, and that hurts the most people and the most businesses, et cetera. Uh, and second is to make sure we have a secure energy policy so that oil prices don't skyrocket. Energy is precarious. We don't, if we see it at 150, it'll cause a global recession. How confident are you in the Fed's ability to do that? I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Yeah, me too. Um, in the event of a hard landing, where do you believe the economy is most vulnerable from a financial stability standpoint? You know, the consumer going into a recession is actually in rather good shape, particularly compared to 08 and 09, and business is in rather good shape. I think if you have a hard landing, you'll see a fairly traditional effect on financial stability. I, I don't think that's the issue. I think the real issue is global stability uh, relating to Ukraine and China and kind of more forward-looking. The financial industry here can easily handle a hard landing. So I agree with you on, and this is a comment now for everybody, I guess, I agree with you on the China piece for sure. Um, I would encourage your banks to be a lot more thoughtful about the role that you all play in facilitating the Chinese economy. Um, they rely on U.S. capital markets to grow their economy. We know that they are no friend of ours. Um, and when you talk about global stability, uh, it's Russia and China that are proposing the greatest threats by far. Um, and I don't believe it's even close. Uh, Mr. Moynihan, I want to switch to you. Um, get back to the consumer. So your, your retail customers, um, how do you feel they are today from a health standpoint? Uh, and then in the event of a hard landing, what are you most concerned about um, at sort of the retail level? Sure. So if you look at where the consumer stands today, they have more money in their accounts, as my colleague said earlier. They have borrowing capacity left. The unemployment rate's very low. Their wages are rising. Working against them are inflation inflation price increases that will eat up part of that increase, and also unemployment. In the end of the day, we haven't seen unemployment move. So the question is, can the Fed tighten strongly enough to choke off inflation without creating such high le levels of unemployment? And you know that's, that's the, the discussion you're having, the probability of a hard landing and soft landing. And, and the view is we all hope that the balance can be restored to the system, but it needs to be restored because right now um, it's uh, – it's not in a proper balance after the last couple of years in the fiscal stimulus and monetary stimulus and all those things. The consumer is spending 10% more in September than they did last September, and they have multiples of money in their accounts now than pre-pandemic, and they're employed and they're earning more. So right now it's okay. The question is what happens to them, and that's always going to come down to if they're working, they'll be fine. In the end of the day, no matter what kind of loan they have, car, home, credit card, you pick it. If they're working, they're fine, and I think that's – the issue is to actually get labor markets to be less uh, tight. You're going to have to work on it. it. The Fed knows that the unemployment's probably going to rise. The question is, can they guide it to the right place and not have it go too far? Yeah, and that's the disaster scenario, right? That's definitionely the hard landing. Yeah. The only tool the Fed has right now is to destroy demand, yeah. uh, which would drive inflation up, yeah. or I'm sorry, unemployment up, uh, and put the consumer at enormous risk. Um, Mr. Diamond, back to you for one final macro question. Fed has a dual mandate, as you know, maximum employment, stable prices. Um, do you have an opinion on whether the dual mandate is appropriate, or would you consider uh, moving us to simply stable prices? I would say it's appropriate, but it should be monitored. Thank you. With that, I yield back. Thank you very much. Um, at this time, we will take a brief recess to Madam allow Chair, to go. Yes. Madam uh, Chair, Green from Texas. Unanimous consent request. Without objection, such is the order. Thank you. I have a special purchase credit program question that I'd like to submit to all of the members of the panel. Without objection. Thank you. Thank you.